Dr. Andrew Smith is working for free today. He's extracting, drilling, filling teeth on plenty of patients at an event called Smiles for Fredericton. I would describe it as Fredericton area dentists coming together along with hygienists, dental assistants, all their staff, and just doing a, a being part of a blitz of a day of providing dental care. So it's 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 something um, that you know the dentists that are participating, hygienists here, uh, all feel strongly about. And we just decided we had a big big clinic here that we could accommodate that. And um, Smiles is, is supposed to be sharing our skills um, for nonprofit situations. So I'm just gonna get you open real wide. Welcome to York Dental Clinic. This is the third year the office has held Smiles for Fredericton. The charity is dedicated to those who can't afford visits to a dentist or hygienist. The clinic will attend to so many patients today. The waiting room extends outside. Dentist Dr. Amy Mihalovich. As dental professionals, we see on a daily basis people that come in that have either can't afford to follow through with the treatment they need or, um, or, or the, the treatment that they want. And uh, I think it, it hits all of us every day how important it is for these people to have an option to get out of pain, to have their cleanings done regularly, to just be able to get the treatment that they need. Over 50 Fredericton area dental professionals will volunteer their time today, including Dr. Matt Moore. So it makes us feel great to be able to give back to the community. And uh, what we've learned over the last three years is that there's a definite need for it. There are people in our community who don't have regular access to dental care. So it's great to be able to give back to the community, especially when we see that there's such a need for it. Um, we just had a patient in and he dropped and left this for Dr. Smith. Um, dental assistant Alicia Men shows a unique thank you card from a patient. Maple. Men says all their patients today are very grateful. We have people that come from a lot of surrounding communities that don't have access to dental care, dentists, for various reasons and it's always really nice to help those people out. They're always very appreciative and it's it's a great feel-good day. One of those patients is Jenny Savoie. It's been three, four years they've been telling me you need to get your wisdom teeth taken out and my teeth keep getting kind of closer and closer and some of them are growing in sideways and it's you know five thousand more dollars that just I don't have and I'm on a very tight budget so the fact that people put the effort to offer those really expensive treatments for people who don't have coverage is huge. Hygienist Sam Gagnon sounds a dire warning if good dental practice is not followed, making this event even more vital. Everything that goes into the mouth, you know, everything goes in the mouth affects the entire body. So keeping your mouth extremely clean, you know, even the minimum things that you can do at home, just your simple brushing and flossing every day is going to make a huge difference. Dr. Smith says interest in running free dental clinics is growing. He's had inquiries from like-minded professionals across the country. Other cities are getting interested and we share that information. So it's something that we you know, want to see more often. That should help out a lot, okay? Any problems, you give us a call, all right?